think it's going to be some good stuff. I didn't even know that they had a truck stop down here. Could have gone down here last night and had me a bite tea. Oh well. Now it's too late. Maybe next time. Here we are guys. We have just entered into uh, Illinois. That's right. Now we are officially in Illinois. It is fairly windy out here today, so it feels like the wind is coming out of the south or something like that. At least it's a crosswind and I'm trying to go east, right? That's right. Well, it looks like we do have a scale coming up here too. I know the rest area is open, but uh, let's see if our chicken coop will be open. I don't know, I haven't seen this scale open too much yet lately, but uh, I mean, I haven't been driving on here too often yet either, but uh, never really seemed to be open this scale there, so we'll see if they're open today. Mind you, I am not heavy at all, so shouldn't be a problem with the weight. I'm only 22,144 pounds. This shouldn't be a problem. See, there you go. They are closed again. The camera probably doesn't see the light yet, but I can see it. Oh, you might be able to see right there to the right. So it's closed. But it looks like the other lane, uh, the other side there, they're open. Yeah, everybody's going in there at least. Well, pretty much everybody, I guess, for some that have uh, pre pass, they get the bypass lane, they go by, right? But, other than that, yeah, there's a lot of people going in there. It doesn't look like there's anybody home over there. Yeah, no, no DOTs in there, that's for sure. But yeah, anyways, it's pretty windy like I said, so we gotta keep her between the lines at least. We try anyways. But yeah, we are in Illinois. We should be, because we're on I-80, we should pretty much be missing uh, Chicago. I think we come out all the way on the other side of Chicago. That's where we'll come out of pretty much anyways. We'll get a little bit of Chicago, but not too bad. But especially by this time of the day, we should be good to go anyways, because it's uh, already 9.22. Shouldn't have too much traffic in Chicago right now anyways, but I know uh, Angie and Chuck just live just north of here, so I could actually have gone through there and uh, met up with them, but since I sat in, uh, all day last, yesterday there all day, all afternoon already, I want to try and get to Toronto for tonight. That's my goal. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are in Chicago. That's right. We are just cruising along here in Chicago. We are on I-80, I guess, right now. Right, somebody coming on the CB radio. Well, we are just about to enter into Indiana. That's right. We are just giving her. Since we left this morning, we already got about four and a quarter hours worth of driving in. And here we are. Just about to enter into Indiana. There you are. Welcome to Indiana. That's right. Crossing border. Entering Indiana. This is pretty much the state line in the middle of Chicago. <laughs> I don't know if about in the middle of Chicago, but uh, big city up here, you know, in the middle of the city pretty much. But that's the way it goes. Haven't quite decided yet on whereabouts I'm going to take my half an hour break yet. I... Ooh, these, these highways are bad up here. I was thinking about taking a break up there by uh, exit uh, 9, I think.
think it is Gary, Indiana, at the Petro there. Go have me a chicken Alfredo there, but I decided, nah, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to work on uh, losing weight instead of gaining weight. I think that's what I'm going to start working on. I just weighed myself yesterday or the day before or something like that and I was up to 263 pounds. I don't really want to be that heavy so I mean, it was last year or the year before I was working on that and I was able to get down I think to 237 or something like that. So I'm gonna see if I can do that again maybe go down my ultimate goal would be to be 200 pounds, but I don't know if I can get that down. I guess I could, but it takes some hard work to do that, that's for sure. So I think we're going to cut down on uh, all the soda that I've been drinking in the last little while. I think we're going to switch over to drinking water instead. Or coffee, one or the other. So we're going to turn off the CB radio here. So we're going to work on maybe losing a little bit of weight. Hopefully I can get down to uh, about 240 by the end of this year. That would be awesome. Yeah, eating too much junk food here on the road, that's for sure. Yep, anyways, we'll give it a try and see what happens, right? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have made ourselves a pit stop here at this uh, speedway up here Federal in Michigan. Take the second exit, and then yeah. roundabout, take the second exit. I need to get back on, I need to get onto this road right here. I don't really like these roundabouts, but uh, I guess somebody does. But as I said, we made ourselves a pit stop up That's here at the speedway. The second exit. We needed to have our half an hour break, which we did do. We did do have our half an hour break, so now we need to get around this roundabout here. And Pick up, he just wanted to get in front of me, eh? I guess so. Oh well. That's the way it is sometimes. But we needed to take a half an hour break and uh, had a Subway sandwich restaurant in there. And we went and grabbed me a six inch Subway sandwich. Continue on this road for 105 miles. Yeah, 105 miles, and now we'll be in Dixter, Michigan area, so uh, that means about an hour, hour and 45 minutes we should be in Dixter, so probably about in uh, two and a half, two and three quarter hours we should be at the border, that's right. And then we'll be back in Canada. We'll be in Ontario, Canada. We will be crossing the uh, Winter uh, Ambassador Bridge today. That's our plan anyways. So let's get on down the road here and uh, see what happens here today. I'm looking at that truck ahead of me there with that red trailer there. Almost looks like he's got a, the brake light, brake lights are on or some odd reason those outside lights are brighter than the other one there. So that's not usually the case. So I'm just thinking maybe his brake is stuck or something. But then again, what do I know, right? That's right. I'm just a driver. <laughs> Yep, but it is a beautiful...
beautiful day out here today. It's not really super cold at all. The wind has finally died down, it feels like. I guess the wind was just further east. I'm gonna slow down a little bit here. I don't like to be right on his butt, you know? Right on his tail, trailer tail. Back her off a little bit. Let the other truck pass him and then uh, and then we can get back up to speed and uh, we'll pass him. At least that's the plan. That's right. And a bunch of four-wheelers already lined up here. They want to pass too, so we'll let them get by first and then we'll try and make our attempt to pass this truck. Uh, there's still a little bit of snow up here, but not too bad. really isn't too bad out here at all. I didn't even put a jacket on when I went inside. Nope, I didn't feel like it was cold enough. But once we get into Ontario, we will have to fuel up though. I am starting to run low on fuel. I mean, I haven't fueled up since I left uh, home, you know one time yet and so we're down to about a quarter of a tank about uh, I think I could get another six seven hours out of it well I don't know seven but I could probably get another five or six hours worth of driving out of this tank of fuel so I could probably get up to Toronto if I really pushed her but I don't know if I want to push her that hard tonight I might go up to London, but I do know there is another uh, Flying J just before London, or I guess just after I enter Ontario. I could fuel up there if I really needed to, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Now it looks like we are just about done with them four wheelers, so. We're going to make our attempt to pass this truck here once this last four-wheeler comes out. There we go. Now we can make our move. Let's get around this truck here because he keeps being a little bit slower than me. I don't like to tailgate nobody either, you know. I don't really want to tailgate, tailgate him. But yeah, we are in Michigan, that's for sure. Here we are, guys and gals. The one of the last scale when we exit Michigan. Well, we're not exactly exiting yet, but uh, this is one of the last scales that I know of that's out here. So once we pass this scale, that's it. We won't see another scale until we get into Ontario. That's right. So let's see if they'll give us a green light to continue straight through or not. If they do, then hey, we can just get back on the interstate. Let's see here. There we go. We got the green arrow going straight back to the interstate. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we want. Yeah, getting back on the interstate, putting the hammer down. Still have 274 miles to go up to Toronto. So we got us a good ways to go yet.
<laughs> yeah, that's right. With your guys' help, we can do it. So let's get on down the road and see what else we'll be able to show you. Alrighty guys, we are here at the Ambassador Bridge. Everything has come to a standstill. And I figured I would show you guys the city a little bit. Show you the big river up there. I don't usually get to show you guys this too much, but uh, yeah, take a look. It's absolutely gorgeous, don't you think so? And this is basically the borderline for Canada and the United States. That's right. Yeah, I don't know what the holdup is up here, but uh, nobody is moving, it seems like. I guess a lot of traffic to be crossing the border, so. I guess we'll see you guys on the other side. Alrighty, alright ladies and gentlemen, it is the next morning. We woke up and uh, we sent a message saying if we got a reload and they said yeah we do. Sent me a reload offer back so here we are at the famous Master Steak, that's right. So we gotta get going here so I'm just gonna close the show here and uh, we got to go pick up a load here ASAP so we can't waste too much time here so I hope you uh, enjoyed today's vlog and uh, be sure to rate it up a big thumbs up leave a comment down there below and if you wouldn't mind share this video and hey if you haven't subscribed to me hit that sh subscribe button right down there in the corner I'd love to have you on board with that being said stick around for tomorrow behind me that day is gonna come